Okay, before this video gets started, I just want to share a few things because you've come to the right person. I am so excited I can help you. If you have any questions at all, message me, email me. I will be more than happy to explain anything. I'm in my fourth semester of nursing school, so it's a long process, but you're almost there. Look how far you've come. Now I just want to show you a couple of things just to give you some hope and know that I will help you. We will get through this and you're going to do amazing. Hey y'all, welcome back to my tease channel. Well, partly tease channel. So today I'm going to be talking about the tease ATI 7. I did take the ATI 6, but there's honestly not that many changes. I'll put the differences here. The main changes are that last time or last test there was 28 questions on English and language. In this test there's 37. So that's honestly the major difference. Still over the knowledge of language, the use of vocabulary. Let's see, the science is still going to be over A and P, biology, chemistry. So nothing really majorly different. I got an 87 on the test. I do have my notes and I'm going to put some reviews up here. I've got two packets of math. I have a blank packet, step by step, and they are like color organized so they're very easy to follow. Um, like I said, I got a 100. I also have two science packets or two science notes that I made all over chemistry and biology they have helped people out a crazy amount which makes me so happy that I'm being helpful to people I have the reading reading and English notes also so mainly if you're struggling in math you can go watch my math videos I I have step-by-step -step videos you're gonna be given a scratch piece of paper and the reason I got 100 is because I wrote down everything. You are given a calculator on the test, so make sure you use that. Even if it's the most simplest math, just use a calculator because you never know. Sometimes you're you're super anxious and you know you just want to be sure you are doing the math right. You don't want to just rush through it and just assume you're doing it right in your head. There is a lot of part over whole. So make sure you know that I have all of those in my notes, all of those in my previous math videos. I do have a couple of math videos. I have an English video, I have a science video, I have an overall video. So I know some people might not be watching them because they think that it's for ATI 6, but they are the same like I showed you all in the pictures. There's just few differences, but it's not different in the concepts, it's just different in the numbers of test questions that are over that certain topic. So like previously, there were there were 32 questions over A and P, and now there's 18. So there's nine biology and nine chemistry, all in my notes. So you'll be pretty well prepared. And then last test, ATI six, there were 23 algebra questions. Now there are 18. Uh, last test, there were nine measurement questions, and now there's 16, which is nice to prepare you because in nursing school you'll be in doing dosage calc. So it's basically the exact same thing. So it's nice to be prepared um, for the T-test because you'll be well prepared for nursing school. So none of the concepts are new. All of the concepts are have already been tested over. So n nothing's really new concept-wise, just different amount of questions that will be asked over that. So for my study tips, I have them here and I'll include them in the notes. Um, I'll email them to you personally. You can like message me on Instagram. You can email me and I'll put all of that in the link in the description and I'll tell you how to get the notes too. 
So for science, I have to study one system at a time. For me, science was super, super overwhelming, but I studied the hardest system for me um, first until I got it. I got it down, I would watch YouTube videos, I would uh, make notes over it. I'm a visual person, so I would always like looking at books and looking over pictures and just I wouldn't move on to the next system until I was 100% sure I feel confident in that system. There are a lot of systems, so make sure you give yourself time to study. For English, I would also just... My cat. Hey, excuse me, ma'am. Excuse me. Thank you. For English, I would just look at rules like for spelling and my dog. My God, they're all like obsessed with me. I would look up rules for spelling and like punctuation. Um, parts of speech, this is going to sound like super childish, but I looked up like Schoolhouse Rock videos. They're all so helpful and it's like little songs that you probably learned in like kinderg kindergarten, but they're very helpful and they like, stick in your brain. So like when you see that word like conjunction, for example, on the test, you're like conjunction, junction, what? conjunction, junction, what's your function? Hooking up words. I'm telling you, they literally get stuck in your brain. Anyways, parts of speech. Also, another lifesaver is what, I mean, not watch, take practice T's test on the ATITs, and it's gonna be the exact format that you're gonna see on the real test. So obviously you can't skip around on the test, like, oh, I wanna do science first. So the order is reading, math, science english um for reading just try not to focus on like the little stuff because i ended up running out of time and didn't even get to finish my questions because i was if i didn't remember something in the thing like i would read the whole thing over like i wasted so much time trying to do that honestly the second time i took it i read the questions and then i just skimmed over the um the reading paragraph and i'm not telling you to do this do it your own way. That's also why um, taking the practice test test is a really good way to study because you're kind of learning like what's a good way to do it for you. Because for me, I'm kind of a slow reader and so it didn't really make sense for me to read the whole paragraph. And then I got to the questions and I was like, wait, what did I just read? So that wasn't super helpful for me. But the second time I did get it and I ended up getting like a 90 something on the English section. On the reading section, you will see uh, main ideas, compare contrast, author's purpose, determine the meaning of the text. And in my English notes, I do have like exactly how to find those things. Like you're looking for keywords, you're looking for numbers, you're looking for opinion words, stuff like that. Um, math. Math is i know it's super hard for some people but i like to break it down and ve make it very simple so that is why i would like i asked for like five pieces of scratch paper and i would use the front and back of like every single one of them always just write everything down um you're gonna be solving for equations solving for x you're gonna see a lot of word problems which i have all of those examples, everything that are in my notes, you're gonna see on the test. Obviously not number for number, but like you get the point. If you struggle with this, you can always message me on Instagram. I'm like very, very helpful. I am in school right now, but I'm just like making up a couple of hours for clinical. So like I'm very open with my schedule. So if you need help with anything, you can message me and I got you, I got your back. Cause I know how bad I struggled studying for this, which by the way, if you're not a very good studier right now, you will learn your study skills in nursing school, kind of because you don't really have a choice to, but you'll get it and you'll pass this test. You're gonna do amazing. So try your hardest on every single section. Also, big, big, big thing. If you don't understand the question, there's a little flag up there on the, I think it's by the timer. Click that flag and that question will go to the end of the section. So like, it's like you can skip it because sometimes you'll take so much 
time reading one question and you wasted so much time, like so much unnecessary time that you could have been using for your next questions. So skip it and put that to the end of your section. And then by the time it comes to the end of your section, you'll probably understand it a little bit more or maybe you'll be like, oh, duh, you know. So like I said, I will have all of my um, notes or tell you how to get it in the description of my video. It's pretty simple. You can message me on Instagram at Caitlin Saldana or you can um, email me. I respond very quickly to both. So I'll be more than happy to help you because I know the struggle. I'm about to be on my last semester of nursing school. I know that's everybody's goal and you will make it and you will get there. It feels like just yesterday I was struggling trying to pass this dang test and now I'm helping people every single day passing it. So it really is a good feeling just being able to give back. Let me know if y'all have any questions. Good luck.